Yes, this is what your garden wants. It's not a good place for humans, but this is what your garden wants to see. Okay, so am I crazy? I'm telling you not to pull any weeds out of your garden. I'm telling you not to use mulch in your gardens. Am I, have I lost my mind? <laughs> no. I'm gonna explain what we're talking about. I'm gonna show you why we're not using any kind of mulch this year. We're gonna talk about having ecosystems return to our natural gardens or natural state. And I'll show you the super compost pile, a little trick to fire it up. So hold on. If most people saw this in their vegetable gardens, they'd freak out. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you why we actually wanna encourage this in our vegetable gardens. Lots of weeds, lots of crazy stuff growing. This pile will get up to probably about 125 degrees, be covered in fungus, have a huge amount of bacteria, good bacteria. Why is that important? I'm gonna tell you in just a minute and I'll show you a trick to get these piles fired up. I have to keep repeating this because I don't know if you're a new viewer or an old viewer. So if you're an old viewer, skip ahead a minute. <laughs> if you're new, you have to watch Gabe's video to understand what we're doing. In the description below, there's a link. That'll take you to our website and this video will be on the page. And further down, I will put Gabe's video on there as well too. Gabe is a good old farmer with blue jeans that now tours the country giving lectures on no-till farming and returning ecosystems back. He talks about carbon, the benefits of carbon, the benefits of microbial activity, good fungus and good bacteria, and how monocultures destroy our soils. Basically, having dirt, plant a crop, till it back in, destroys our soils and just allowing things to return back to nature to their natural state. What we're doing this year is we're replicating that, but we don't have two to five years to do this. We wanna get it done in two weeks. So what we're doing is we're pulling the important parts of his practices and we're doing it into our gardens. We're adding carbon, biochar. We're adding good microbes and good fungus. We're adding organic matter. And we're not using any fertilizers. Let me repeat that, zero fertilizers. We're not using any mulch. What we're doing is we're going in here and we're planting what a lot of people would consider weeds, ryegrass, clovers, wildflowers. Once we get our vegetables planted, we're going in there and we're creating cover crops to give it shade and to hold on to. Root systems, regardless of what they are, weeds, grasses, whatever, are beneficial for holding on to moisture, hold, retaining uh, microbial activity and good fungus. So we just don't want the one plant and one root system. We want all kinds of root systems and all kinds of plants growing all through our garden. It's not gonna look pretty. It's gonna look kind of cool though. It's gonna be kind of wild growing. So yesterday we started planting out here and what did I do to my raw dirt? I came out here, I threw a little bit of rye, a little bit of clover on top of it. And then I had some wildflower seed packs. I just threw wildflower seed packs. And then I stole a couple of marigolds that we had left over. We're gonna have flowers. We're gonna have good bugs are gonna come in here. Uh, beneficial insects will be in here. Everything good will start to happen and we're building an ecosystem. An ecosystem above the ground and an ecosystem below the ground. You have to understand how important good fungus and good bacteria and good microbes are to your soil system. We're doing, we are inputting those through Dirt Booster, and then all through the year, we'll be boosting those up with a microbial pack. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a little trick on how to get your pile boosted up. Um, sometimes when you use Dirt Booster, if you don't know about Dirt Booster, you can go to the website and watch the videos on how we make this super compost. That's just, I mean, booming with all this stuff. And then we, we mix that into our garden soils. But sometimes in colder weather, you struggle. So let me show you a little tip I learned yesterday real quick. Okay, so let me explain what we're talking about here. These piles, once they get activated, have a huge amount of good fungus, good bacteria. They have a huge amount of carbon from the humichar. They have a huge amount of nutrients. We then take that massive living pile, work it into our soils, and our soils come alive. That's what we're doing with these super compost piles. But sometimes, um, it's hard to get them activated when it's colder outside. I figured out a trick. Let me show you the trick. Okay, so here's my trick. I always poke a hole in the center of this and I came out the other day 
and the pile really wasn't that active. It was only about 80 or 90 degrees. So I went inside and I got a gallon Pyrex. Now I want you to be careful. I got um, a gallon Pyrex. I filled it up most of the way. I put it in the microwave and I got that Pyrex close to boiling. It was about 170, 180 degrees. I poured that down the center of the hole, covered up the hole, and laid over the top. Six hours later, this pile fired up and it was at close to 120 degrees. It just boom, instantly. And a little while ago, I opened it up and I wanna show you what it looks like on the inside. When you see this white matter growing inside, that's the good fungus, that's the good bacteria, those, all those active microbes. And then, once it, as soon as it starts to cool, we take it, put it into our soils, and we transfer all that good living, all that good living activity, nutrients, and carbon into our garden soils. Let me show you what it looks like. That is life coming to work. Look at that steam. Seems everything seems pretty good. I think it just needs a little oxygen and maybe some moisture. Wow, look at that steam. That is gorgeous. This is what we're shooting for right there. All that steam coming off, all that white fungus, microbes, bacteria. That is just gorgeous. That's what we want to see. Okay, so it's important to remember that we're going to take those piles just after they, once they start to cool down, we're going to transfer them into our soils and we'll be bringing everything that's good from that pile into our soils. But during the growing season, there are going to be periods that are stressful to bacteria and fungus. So once a week or every other week, we're going to be spraying with a booster pack, and I link it down below. We're going to be adding more microbes and fungus to maintain it. But at the same time, but at the same time, we're going to be letting all these weeds grow in here. Now inside these beds yesterday, I put um, wildflower seeds, I put some ryegrass and a little bit of clover in there. I got a couple extra marigolds sitting around. So we want this to look like this. We actually don't want our beds to look like we normally think, where we just have a plant and a plant. We want a plant surrounded by all kinds of crazy stuff that's growing in there. Trust me, this is what's gonna make this an ecosystem in here. You're gonna have good beneficial bugs, lots of ladybugs. The ladybugs eat your aphids, they eat your other things. You're gonna have good insects, you're gonna have good birds, everything that's nice. So we're making this ecosystem in here. So let me show you one of my little secret weapons. I had some annual ryegrass seed. I scattered that all over my gardens and in between my gardens. I actually had some clover seed and I put a little bit of clover out here. Then you can go to Walmart or any store you want. You can buy these big packs of wildflowers. They call them sometimes a bird and butterfly mix. And these two packs here, these are the big packs. They're enough to do my entire garden. I just sprinkled them all over, just roughed up the soil a little bit. Okay, so some important points I want to follow up on. This is dead stuff. This wheat straw, um, wood chips, mulch, whatever you're using, it's going to be dead. Underneath there, you're going to have bugs. You're going to have bad fungus. You're going to have rot when it sits there. I've learned, I've started to learn that bad things happen when I put this on top of my soil. Get rid of it. Gone. What are we going to use instead? We're going to use living matter. We're going to use grasses and weeds. We're not just going to fill this thing up with living matter instead of using mulch. Not just in the bed, but all around the beds too. Let it go crazy. Watch Gabe's video. You'll understand what I'm talking about if you watch the video. Next, inputs. We want to input lots of carbon good bacteria, good fungus, lots of nutrition. We do that through these super compost piles. They fire right up. Within five days, you're ready to go. Put it into your soil and you're all set. Next, I want you to maintain those microbes and that fungus with a booster spray. I'll link to the booster packs on that page. Every week or two, you can come out here and just spray a booster pack and we'll have a nice booster pack and we'll boost up those microbes because what happens in the summertime? If it gets really hot, that can hurt fungus. It can hurt microbes. So we want to continually keep them going in our gardens. Use a booster pack. This really isn't a comfortable place to be, but if you're a bug 
if you're a butterfly, if you're a bee, if you're a ladybug, this is where you want to live. You want to live amongst this stuff. <laughs> we want to see a very diverse vegetative state. We want a multicultural environment for our vegetables to grow in. This, if I can pull it up, root system right here is going to attract and hold the fungus, the good fungus, and that's what we want. We want to add biochar to our soil. We want natural nutrients. We want good bacteria, good microbes. So follow us this year, click the subscribe button, wherever that thing is, and uh, watch what we're doing here. And I want to challenge you guys. I want to challenge you guys to do something a little bit different. I want you to learn. I want you to try something different. It's the, Life gets boring if you don't experiment, if you don't try stuff that's different. This is really cool. Anyways, we're going to have some storms today, so I'm going to go inside, and I'll talk to you later. Die.